national political reporter for the New York Times. His article in today's New York Times was about Bill Clinton's campaign in New Hampshire for his wife. I am pleased to have him here to talk about what is happening on the ground this evening in New Hampshire. Let me first talk about the column. I mean, the piece, not the column, but the piece on the front page. Here is the first paragraph, which has been repeated time after time after time today, as you well know. First thing I heard this morning, I said, have you seen Leibovich's story? Here's the first sentence. Is this what it would have been like had Elvis been reduced to playing Reno? Former President Bill Clinton has been drawing sleepy and sometimes smallish crowds at big venues in the state that revived his presidential campaign in 1992. First, just tell me the reaction to this piece. Um, as you can imagine, it wasn't terribly pleasant from the Clinton people. I mean, I think, you know, not surprisingly, I mean, they they were very defensive, and, and they also, you know, they pointed out that, you know, rightly, that there were some bigger, more enthusiastic events as the weekend wore on. Um, but the fact is, I, I think the piece did seem to speak to a lot of people because, uh, I mean, Bill Clinton has just been this transcendent figure in this country and, and really the master you know, stumpsman of our generation politically. And, um, you know, lately I, I think a lot of people have, who have seen him would say he has fallen slightly flat. And I think, you know, clearly the, the, the Clinton marriage continues to be a point of great interest and great mystery to people. Um, you know, not, not in the vintage of the late 90s so much, but, you know, what do they talk about? I mean, what, what are Bill's views on this race? Uh, what, what, is she, what is he doing for Hillary? Um, and, and so forth. And I think, you know, he, whether he tries or not, is going to be very much at the center of this race. And I, I was pretty struck by how consciously he seemed to be amping himself down or trying to. Um, and it was quite a contrast from what we've become accustomed to with him. What is the expectation this evening in New Hampshire? Certainly the polls would show a degree of momentum for Obama um, that, and also for, um, for John McCain and the Republican side. I, I think, though, that there is kind of a caveat here, which is, one, New Hampshire doesn't like to be told what to do. They have been prone to surprise and, and also you know, upset conventional wisdom quite a bit. And I, I also think, and, and this is not scientific, this is just talking to people today, uh, that Hillary's uh, crying, or I don't know if you call it crying, but, but the emotional episode this morning um, during that discussion with voters, you know, was a pretty poignant event. Now, whether it can turn a race around in, in New Hampshire and that's less than 24 hours away is another question, but I think, uh, you know, clearly that was a, a moment that people really, you know, really noticed and, and really wondered, you know, uh, is this the end for her? Or is this the end for her now, or is this a time when maybe we should?